Westinghouse WGN 9500DF. Dual fuel, it'll take propane or gasoline. 6.6 .6 gallons. This is actually the second one I've got in the last two to three weeks. This one's gonna be replacing my Predator 6500 that I got from Harbor Freight. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that one right there. It works exactly as it should. I have zero complaints about it at all whatsoever. <clears throat> the only reason I upgraded to a bigger one is because I want to run my central AC. That one is just, just not big enough. It runs everything else in my house, not a problem. I just wanted a little bit more. I want to be able to run my central AC and uh, heat pump. It's all electric here. So I I chose to go bigger. 12 five peak watts, 9,500 running watts, um, which is, you know, double. I'm gonna talk you through my, my startup you know, my break-in procedure that I have with this, everybody's is a little bit different. Um, it's the same thing I did with that one. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna go through it. I'm gonna move this one into the shop. And I'll also tell you about my other one and the reason why I've got two. I run it for one hour, no, under no load, right? On the, uh, the manual, this thing has a break-in period of I believe five hours. All right, found it. It's on page 17 of the manual if you if you have this thing. So break-in period. Uh, proper break-in. Don't exceed 50% of the rated running watts uh, during the first five hours of operation. I'm going to do the same thing with this one that I did with my Predator. It doesn't really say how to do it. It just says don't go over 50% of the load of the first five hours. So one hour, change the oil. Two hours, change the oil. And... Uh, another hour to two hours and uh uh then that, that's that's good enough for me that's what i did with the other one ended up running my whole house or half my house what it would run off of it, what i needed and it's been working great um the reason i have two of them is because this one looks like it was dropped off the truck you know on the way to me it's all cramped up right there it's kind of hard it's real sunny out you can see right there on the bend it's got a big crease in it i mean it was just dropped so this alternator cover right here is all beat up and right there that's from the fins on the side you can see the blue it was pushed back on here and the top ended up fraying wires bought this thing off amazon amazon was super quick and and really cool about it um Told him what happened. I took pictures and videos of it before I even took it out of the box because uh, the box was pretty beat up. Pictures and videos immediately. I didn't have this thing in my garage for 10 minutes, called Amazon. It was on a Saturday. Answered my, answered my phone call. Um, I emailed them the pictures while I was on the phone with the lady and uh, she looked at them, sent me all the emails and stuff. That money was back in my account for that one in three days. I asked her how to get this thing back to her. They considered a hazmat item. I didn't put oil or gas or anything in it. Um, told her that. She said, you know, no can do, can't take it back, it's yours. Figure out what to do with it. It runs, the thing runs. All it's gonna need is some wires and I'll have two of them. Ordered it off Amazon. The reason I got it off Amazon is because it was a couple hundred dollars cheaper than going to like Home Depot or whatever. Um, but I did have to wait about two weeks. This one was to me in one week after I ordered it. Ordered it the same day um, that I got this one in. After I changed the first oil, I will show it to you because if it's anything like that Predator, it's gonna be, uh, there's gonna be some flakes in it. Since I'm gonna do the first startup, <clears throat> I figured I would uh, just put that on venue, video and show you this thing. It's got an automatic choke on it. So, that is right there. Let's see what happens. Let's push button, or a key fob this thing. Took three times the first time I did it with that one. Number three, here we go.
gonna make a liar out of me. Maybe he needs more gas. You know what I didn't do? This right here. Gas. It does need gas. Yeah, make sure you turn the gas on uh, if you want fuel getting to, the, to it. Okay, so it probably stopped because it wasn't getting any fuel. Well, we know this is going to work. Let's try the push button. Hey, it works when you've actually got fuel going to it. So there it is. I'm going to start my timer for one hour. We'll let it run. All right. Just stopped it. First hour. Ran for the first hour. We're going to empty this thing. Um, these little baking trays work really good. Uh, under here, you don't have to set up any kind of weird shit to put under there. So, uh, 15, 30 seconds. If you don't have that, half inch work. There it is right there. Let's take this off here and see exactly how flaky the soil is. That's hot. Jesus Christ, you idiot. You should have known it was gonna be hot. All right. So, you can see the flakes in that. You can see it piling up right there. Yeah, even in the, in the clean portion right there, you can kind of see it. Um, got a lot of nasty old oil in this thing, but that's what I use it for, oil changes. Um, yeah, so that's why you do the break-in period. That's why I do it. Um, lots of... Lots of metal flakes in that oil. I'm gonna fill it back up and run it for two more hours. Also, if you've made it this far, I am sorry about how I turned the phone upside, you know, the other way for almost all the video. I don't know, got in the zone. We're just taking video, trying to, trying to get some stuff to upload. So my bad, I will do my best to not do that again. Can't promise anything though.